Oh, What's shoot him first. What's up, brother? How you doing, man? You're back. I'm doing good. How about yourself? I'm doing good, brother. How about yourself? What you got going on tonight? Uh, I got four questions today. I got masculine Go frame questions, and I have what if scenario on dates questions. Okay. Mm -hmm. So obviously I'm a little guy, right? And uh -huh. I'm not I'm not the handsome six foot tall guy. So yeah, I, how I, I, make I don't up like that, that mindset. I don't like that? that mindset. See, I don't like see when you when you say that, that's how you're gonna yeah. act. That's how you're right. gonna you're gonna act like that. So you you, huh? you your thoughts when you with her, that's how you're gonna act. You see right. what I'm saying? So you, you can't mm -hmm. think like that. But I'm taller than most dwarves, though, so I do kind of have that energy going on. Okay. But let's be real here. When girls look at me, they just probably gonna think, "Hmm, beta them up provider right there." Unless he starts talking and he changes my mind. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So uh, what I make, what I, how I make up for it is trying to be funny. But mm -hmm. I've seen a few of your videos saying like always holding your masculine frame. So my question is, how do I like throw in like some little like haha -ha jokes here and? but still maintaining my masculine frame without looking like their little pet monkey. <laughs> well, the thing is, if you, you post a doom, like, like I, I can be naturally funny and I can say a funny thing, but the difference is the line is when you enter the joke too. So like me theoretically say, if I say something funny, she can laugh, but I really won't laugh. See, that's, that's when you go into that line where it's starting to get goofy. Or, mm. and, and typically what I've seen in the past when I would say something funny and I would laugh at it too, it would go to, boy, you so silly or something like that. Now you, now you feel childish, right? When, a, when the, don't nothing make a man stand up quicker than a woman saying, boy, you so silly. I hate that shit. I don't, a, a woman can say I'm funny or something like that, but I hate when she says I'm silly. And usually that silly is when I'm laughing at the joke also and just let her do her thing. Larry, if she want to laugh, she can laugh. I'm I'm pretty funny and I say funny things, but I don't enter the joke with her. You see what I'm saying? Right. So, and I'm not a try hard. Mm -hmm. It's just like a, a natural thing. So if, if it's if it's in the flow of the conversation, then it makes sense. But like if say, for instance, y'all are talking about something directly different, right? And you just feel like a need to say something funny, as in you're finna be a tryhard to get her to like you. That's unattractive, right? Because now it's you turning into that entertainer. It's mm -hmm. it's much different than something that just funny come from with the flow of you talking to her, opposed to okay, she's been quiet for thirty seconds. Uh, I think she's losing interest. Um, I think I need to say something funny. Mm -hmm. Do you get I that? Like I mean, sometimes, yeah. That's a that's a self esteem issue. That's a that's a confidence issue. Whenever a man starts to enter that entertainer mindset, that's a confidence issue. And women know it. They they not they not they it's not like they're oblivious to what you're doing. So a woman be quiet and stuff like this right here, and all of a sudden you feel a need to say something <laughs> funny or touch her. She knows your your confidence is slipping, as in you thinking you she's you, she's losing interest. So you got to be. Mm -hmm keen up on those type of things that when you're trying to make trying to make something funny and be funny for no reason and physical touching whenever she enters a quiet stage right so in other words to answer your question i know i talked for like 10 minutes but to answer <laughs> your question to answer your question if it's in the flow of things it's fine as long as you're not <laughs> laughing at yourself because now that makes you look childish and immature yeah, I had a friend like that, and it was just so cringy when he would do it. <laughs> right, exactly. It's just better if it goes in the flow of what's going on. Don't be a try hard, and don't be sitting there cracking up laughing at your own stuff because then it makes you look immature. Right, and not trying to. I got you. Uh, let me let me explain to you like this. Imagine if I said something on here funny on you. Okay, so think of think of my videos where I said something funny, right? And then imagine right behind me saying something funny. I was like. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be like this silly mother oh, you're cutting out for me yeah you'll be like this silly immature motherfucker you see what i'm saying so that's the point what i'm trying to say put yourself in the woman eyes that if i was on here saying something funny and then right behind saying some funny i'm cracking up laughing at my own self now i just look childish and stupid mm -hmm. right 
All right. Uh, you pretty much answered the uh, second question from the first question. You want me to just ask it anyways for the just for shits and giggles? Yeah, go ahead. So, if AMS woke up tomorrow from being six five to four five, like let's just say one chance in hell, he just became a little person overnight. How would you right. maintain right. yourself in a masculine frame? Like, oh shit! Like all these ladies used to love me for being six five. Now I lost two feet on me. Now what do I do? See, that's a that's a that's a hypothetical question. It's hard to right. answer that because the I reason I say that my little people friends like when when they're struggling with women. Right. So the, the issue with that would be mentally. That's why it's such a hard question, because mentally I was just six, five. It's just like telling a guy who got a billion dollars. Hypothetically, if you woke up tomorrow and you was homeless, how would you you know what I'm saying? It's, it, it, it's, it's kind of dramatic. But let's just hypothetically say I was born, uh, born that way. And so you you say you're four foot five. I'm not four foot five. I'm four foot eleven. Four foot eleven. So. That's mm-hmm. close enough. If, if if it's me, I'm five feet, goddamn. I'm rounding up, goddamn. Yeah. I, I better not be no four eleven. I'm like I'm five feet. This sound a lot better. So let's right. just take it from that p- perspective that I've been dealing with this all my life, right? Mm-hmm. So let's just say that. And this is the issue. I know it's a disadvantage. I know mm-hmm. it's a disadvantage. I'm not finna sit up here and act like, oh well, man, it's all in your head, and you gotta, you know, blah mm-hmm. blah blah. Man, I done heard women who five two. Want me in six feet tall. Mm-hmm. And so I get that. So what? So this is the issue. What I say to you, what we going to do about it? See, this is this. This is what I this is when I talk to guys and guys are throwing stuff at me. And my question to you is what we going to do about it? So that's that's the hand you're dealt. And that's not changing. So what are we going to do about it? Well, God damn it. I'm going to become the richest, most powerful motherfucker that I possibly can. That's what because. What you're gonna do is you're gonna another dating coach gonna say, Oh, well, it's all in you. They are so full of shit. They need yeah. to have their ass whooped. I can sit up here and tell you from my perspective. I have told girls that was like five, four, five, five that wanted to date guys that was six, two, six, three. And I'm like, man, I feel sorry for tall short guys. I'm like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> and I so I get I get that, but the thing is, as men, luckily, all our value is not in the physical. Do you mm-hmm. understand what I'm saying? It's not all in the physical. So there's something that you can do about it. So that would be, if, if, if that was the issue with me, I probably would already be a billionaire probably. If that was, I'm, I'm just being honest with you, with me being that one of the reasons, one of the reasons why, uh, it, you know, as far as uh, me early in my life and stuff like that, I could get women when I was broke. Even when I was in the basement, I could get women when I was broke. So getting money to make myself more attractive was never a motivation for me because I never needed it. But as I can sit here and tell you now, as a guy that's five feet tall, I'm not even going to bullshit you. It's going to be tough all your life. It is. I'm telling you right now, I don't give a fuck what no other dating coach is going to go tell you. You need to work on your your talk game. Shut the fuck up. That's why they didn't get no views right now. That's why that's why nobody watched them now. Because anybody who hears that know you're full of shit. And I'm never gonna tell you that. So it's more imperative that you become the best version of yourself. Right. Literally, the, it, it's imperative that you maybe I can get away, or another guy who's six four, six five can get away with a little bit more than you. Mm-hmm. But a guy like you, you definitely can't be overweight, you definitely can't make 20k a year you can't get away with that do you get what i'm saying yeah so I get what you're saying you, you have to definitely control the things you can control you can't control your height but i can control my body weight right mm-hmm. I can control my body weight and i can control how much money i make that i do can control so i'm gonna make myself the best version of myself in the things that i can control or you can just sit around and bitch and complain that i'm short and nobody likes short guys blah 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 but i can tell you right now if you was making a million dollars a year and you was 10% body fat, I would like your chances a lot better than you making 30K a year and 30% body fat. That's what I'm going to tell you. And I'm going to tell you like this right here. Guys going to say, well, what about the talk game? And what about the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece and the mouthpiece? When it, it, it's certain variables in the dating game that you don't even get to use your mouthpiece because women don't even hear you if you don't meet certain standards of looks requirements and financial requirements is it's 
everything you say after that, if you look like a guy that don't make no money or got no money, or you look like a guy that just you don't meet her height requirements or her body fat requirements or her physical facial features requirement, she doesn't hear nothing you say, right? So on most women's standards, 95% of the women, you're not gonna meet their height requirement, right? Nope. So you right, you know, you just not you're right. Most women would most women would be okay with dating a guy who's five, seven, five, eight. That's short, but most women like you know, but you're shorter than that. So you got to try, you got to make sure it's more imperative that the things you can't control, you really got to be on point. So how, how much money do you make a year? Uh, really just depends. Uh, probably, I want to say shot in the dark, probably under 30,000. Yeah, see, see that, that's, that's the issue. That, that, that's, that's the issue right there. See, that's, that's the issue. That's not, the, that's the biggest issue right there. You can't pull. You're not gonna be able to get away with that. You, yeah, you, I'm not. You, the Rock can get away with that. If the Rock right now made 30k a year, I guarantee you he'd still be banging chicks. Yep. If he looked like that, but you're not gonna be able to get away with that. Some other, some other line there, dating coach might tell you better to get away with that, but I'm not gonna tell you no bull crap like that. You can't get away with that. You can't get away with being 30 percent body fat. You can't. So you gotta work on the thing. What kind of? What do you do for a living? Oh, uh, right now I just do Postmates and then I make a little money here and there from TikTok, but it's, it's really, uh, not, uh, what's it, what I, what I want to say. It's not a promising salary. It goes up, it'll be up one day, then it goes down like the next week. So what's our plan? What's, uh, what's our plan? figuring out my purpose more, hitting the gym. Cause I really want to do TikTok and make that my full-time career. Okay. So right now I feel like I just should be hitting the gym and losing that pound. So I look more aesthetically pre uh, aesthetically pleasing to get more followers. Cause I feel like I've, uh, that's probably the reason why I plateaued. Mm -hmm. Cause like the, like a lot of people follow me cause I'm funny, but I know in fact they're not following me cause I'm Mr. Handsome devil either. Right. I think right. my, my following, like the, social media is the thing. People right. follow more people that are more attractive. If some guy was the same amount as funny as me, I'd be following him more. And thirsting right. over him as well. So right now I feel like I should be hitting the gym, mm -hmm. and I'm thinking about getting my forklifting license in case that falls through. Mm -hmm. And yeah. So let me ask you this. Uh, let's put the TikTok thing aside, right? Right. Because that's a long shot. I'm talking about some substantial that we can put on paper that like you can make some money with TikTok, or you want to be a YouTube and stuff. We could do that on the side, and if it, if if it builds, fine. But we're not gonna put all our eggs in TikTok. Right, we're not going right. to do that. So, what are we doing? Because see, I don't want you living on a hope and a prayer on some TikTok fantasy stuff. More than likely, that's probably not going to work out, right? So, it, it probably will. But I'm just saying, I'm, I'm speaking to you like if I was your father right now, and you came to me talking about some goddamn TikTok. I kick in your ass talking about some damn TikTok. Now, I, if you if you was my father, and you like I said, son, what are you going to do? And you start talking about some, I'm going to do TikTok. I kick you dead in your ass right then there. So, the <laughs> point I'm trying to say is. What's our goal or something that more substantial that's more guaranteed than TikTok? Uh, finding a trade. Who? Uh, getting a trade, a skill, a trade. What kind? I was thinking about getting my uh, forklift cert certification. So you gotta you gotta go a little bit higher than that because you only you a forklift certification. You can get some wino off the street and teach them how to drive a forklift by by lunchtime. So. You need something that's a real skill. That's that's not a real skill. You I could I could if I was in a factory with you right now, I could teach you how to drive a forklift an hour. That's any anything that I could teach you that fast is not gonna pay a whole lot of money. You get what I'm saying? Something yeah. if, if it's that easy to teach, it's not gonna pay a whole lot of money. You need something that's a real actionable skill that's gonna take some time for you to learn. That's gonna that's what's gonna put you in that after you done paid your dues. That's something that's gonna put you in that six figure category. And that's going to help you a lot more so that when you do meet women, because even you, you meet women, right? You, mm -hmm. Even you see, you meet women, but see, then you get disqualified because the woman said, okay, he, he was nice and he was funny and I gave him a chance. And then I found out he's fucking around with TikTok and, and, and he ain't got shit going on for itself. So I mean, see, you, you think that you're losing these women due to masculine frame. And I say you losing these women to these women are not seeing you as somebody that has his shit together. 
more more than I guarantee you that if you was if you had more more your shit more together, I guarantee you that masculine frame will come a whole lot easier. I listen, I would be a dancing monkey if I made if I was five feet tall and I made 30k a year because in my head I would be thinking that's the only way I can keep this woman is to be her entertainer. I don't mm-hmm. got I don't really gotten I know that she's probably got better candidates. I'll I'll become a day dancing monkey and hope that I can make her laugh enough that she finds me attractive. That's the that's the natural course of things when a guy doesn't feel confident in his abilities and what he has to offer. The only thing left is to go to being an entertainer. You see what I'm saying? It's subconscious. You're not even thinking about it. Since I don't have anything, I'm gonna make her laugh and she'll like me because that's what the movies tell me, which I can tell you right now is bullshit. Right? Yeah, I'll always bullshit. <laughs> right. So that's that's what if, if you asking me what my advice for you to be tonight, brother, I would say you need to get on your purpose hard. If you don't, if you don't, you're gonna go through a life of this shit. And I'm trying to give you actionable things that you can do to get going. Not not some fantasy, not finna give you no book that on mouthpiece and all this other bullshit. You know, I man, don't even get me started on these clowns, but because they will see what I'm saying to you right now, and they will give you some fantasy bullshit and 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 they shut the hell up. You know, they just so full of shit. I already know, bro. So just become the best version of your things and things that you can cause that you can got a control over. You don't got a control over your height, but you do got a control over your finances. You do got a control over your body weight. That's gonna make you as attractive as you possibly can be. That's all you can do. And then the masculine frame come more natural. All right, thanks, bro. All right, bro. I have two more questions if you have time. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so um uh, I remember I was hanging out with uh, one of my girls like maybe like about a month ago and she came down for like a weekend and uh, she got a hotel and everything mm-hmm. and uh, we spent the day together and I remember I said something a little sarcastic and it went and pissed her off mm-hmm. and she went silent for like a be- good like two hours and it just made the whole situation awkward. At your house? Oh uh, uh, No, no, no. We were driving around. We were, we were going to the beach then the mm-hmm. swap meet. Mm-hmm. And then uh, to the store, and then like during the car ride, she would just be really quiet because I I opened my mouth a little too much, and, and I would ask her like, "What's wrong? Nothing. Are you okay? I'm fine. Mm-hmm. Are you that, hungry? I don't know." That's you. First of all, this 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 is what I, this is what it sounds like to me. I'm just putting myself inside the woman's head. This this almost sounds like she don't want to be there. But she's just there because you're something to do. It don't. It don't sound like she's really that interested. And that's that's what it's when. So it's like she got an attitude for nothing. Is basically what you're telling me, right? So in my past experiences, when I've had an attitude with a woman for no apparent reason, usually it was because I didn't want to be there. But I didn't really know how to tell her I didn't want to be there. Or maybe I was there because I had nothing else better to do. But I didn't want to be there. But really, I didn't really like her like that. She just being there was annoying. And but maybe I maybe I had like a scarcity mindset and felt like, well, it's better than nothing. So like when somebody like if you ever be with a woman that you really don't like, you'll notice that you just like it's real snappy. Like she can and she'll be like, what's wrong? Well, bitch, I don't want you. That's that's kind of what's wrong. I don't. But, you know, the scarcity mindset makes you feel like, well, it's better than nothing. So when you see that, this is why when we. When you hang around women that don't have an interest in you and stuff like that, that's why you got to have the abundance mindset and move on. Whenever you see a woman that's just got an attitude for nothing, it really wasn't. I didn't hear nothing you said that make me think that it was something you did. It seemed like you did start uh, having insecurities and started acting, asking insecurity questions when you ask the woman what's wrong when she's quiet. That's annoying as fuck. So let's just hypothetically say nothing was wrong, right? And she just quiet and chilling. And then you're like, what's wrong? Like, you know, like, do I got to fucking talk 24 fucking seven? Like, I can't just sit yeah. here in peace. And so your insecurities are fucking making me annoying, asking me what's wrong. Nothing wrong. Just shut the fuck up. I'm trying to think about something, you know? So, like, I've had girls ask me that shit, and really nothing is wrong. What's wrong is you annoying the fuck out of me asking me these stupid-ass questions. You see what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. don't, don't ask those insecurity questions or whatever. So you got two situations. Either your insecurity questions 
that you have that are causing insecurities in you to cause her to ask, ask her that shit is pissing her off, which it would piss me off too if I'm just being quiet for a second and you ask me what's wrong, what's wrong, you know, or she's really pissed off for no reason and her interest is not there, but she's just there. So you got either two situations. You need to stop, lose the insecurities, right? And if it's not the insecurities, you need to remove yourself from around women like that who are, are really not interested in being there, not acting feminine and fun. Why are you there? See, if a woman acted like that, asked, acted like that with me, and I was hanging out with her, she wouldn't get another date. True. So that needs to be the last day. That needs to be the last day. I'm assuming that if it wasn't your insecurities that was causing the issue. Well, she was showing really high interest throughout the whole day, and then I just said something a little sarcastic. I was annoyed about something. I forgot what the situation was, and then it just. I killed the whole vibe right there. And that's mm -hmm. when she went silent. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So uh, it, it, it probably was more of your, it, it probably was more of her. Yeah. See, when a woman don't got no interest in you, you do the simplest little thing and she's just pissed off for no fucking reason. That, that's the thing. When you, you can say, man, the sky is blue and she pissed out. Why the sky is blue? Blah, blah, blah. Because see, she, <laughs> she, 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 she really not interested. That's, that's what you'll notice from women. When they really not interested, the least little thing you do pisses them the fuck off. And, and, and you can you can say something real big that really should piss a girl off. But when she really like you, it's funny to her. So you, you see what I'm saying? And yeah. so all these are indicative of her interest level. You got to pay attention to stuff like that. If, I'm going to be honest with you, brother. If I'm you, I'm just going to leave dating alone for a while. Let me I need to get my shit together. Mm -hmm. You need to drop some pounds and you because see you short. Right. So like me, I can get away with being a little overweight because it's it's spread out, you know, over six foot four, six foot five. When you five feet, you won't when you that short, it makes you look even fatter because it's in such a small frame. Yeah. And five pounds so you, looks like it's 20 pounds. Right. Exactly. So you need to you need to make sure you become the best version of yourself. I'm probably just um, going to work on myself. If that's if you don't take that, right. I would. That's what I would do, brother. I would leave okay. all, the, all the dating shit alone and just for the next year or two, at least next year, and just focus on myself. If you can all do right. a date, if you could do a date on the weekend just for a little stress relief or something like that, mm -hmm. but you don't even got to. You can just have a hobby that you go and do hang with friends. It ain't even got to be with women. It can just be a hobby or something, but you need to become the best version of yourself. Right. All right. I have one more question, then I'll let you go. <laughs> go ahead, brother. I know you said in your videos before about staying in mystery and how I'm always wondering about you on, on what your hobbies are and stuff. Mm -hmm. But how do I stay in mystery if she keeps asking a lot of questions like, so what do you do? What's your favorite show? What's your favorite movie? What do you do on your free time? How do I still stay in mystery without answering all of her with answering all of her questions, not being rude? Well, you, you answer her questions, but you're not free giving it away freely. She's asking. What what we what I'm talking about is when a guy say say a woman said so uh, you know w w what do you do and then a guy said uh, well I'm a welder and my dad's a janitor and my mom's a, a nurse and you know I was I was raised in Wisconsin like a woman asks you one question and it takes a dude down a fucking rabbit hole where he didn't told her his whole life story she asked one goddamn question so like when we say remain a mystery we mean keep it to that. Don't go down a rabbit hole. Don't don't let her ask you one thing. So what happened between you and your ex? Well, you know, we kind of grew apart and the girl before her, she kind of broke my heart and the girl before her, like you she asked one fucking question and an hour later you still spilling your guts about shit. She didn't even ask. You see what I'm right. saying? So if she asked you some answer that, but don't start blabbing off at the mouth where an hour later you still running your fucking mouth. You see what I'm saying? Just keep it to that and and, and 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 try to be as indiscreet as you can don't be just everything out well so, sometimes and i've done this in the past especially when i'm drinking woman asks you one question two hours later i'm still blabbing my fucking mouth about everything that doesn't happen in my life and she asked one <laughs> question so that's what we mean by remain a mystery just she she gonna ask certain questions but don't go down that rabbit hole All right all right thank you so much no problem bro all right. Take care. All right, bro. Yeah, guys, do not do not go down that rabbit hole when when one.